I mean, there is a lot going on in the world at the moment, which is scary and terrifying. So it's kind of nice to be like, you know, be in this kind of shell, this Thompson home shell, where, you know, that you just remember different bits of their life, different bits of their story, like memories. And I think that's why it did feel a bit sad to leave it as well, because because so much has happened uh, yeah. now. I feel like a lot of weird stuff has happened in the Thompson bathroom, mm. particularly with Dylan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was a scene where me and Taylor are in the bathroom and we sat on the edge of the bath. And I can remember thinking, oh, this is where Dylan pooed himself. <laughs> where Dylan had a lovely little poo in the bath in series, was it series two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Memories, yeah, eh? Memories. Memories. <laughs> With the series, uh, there is uh, the new series, there's a bar coming along. Dale's yeah. bright idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a bar. yeah. There's a moment where you're asked about waitresses, uh, about yeah. what, what kind of waitress the bar should have. Have you been a waitress? Oh, gosh, yeah. Not... I was a waitress at. Um, I wasn't even a waitress, I was like host. I was a hostess. Oh. Yeah, and you have to look really smart. To be honest, I'm not necessarily the best person. <laughs> yeah, it was really stressful because it was in the centre of town and um, like Covent Garden area, and it was really, really busy. And people would have to wait two hours for a table, and I'd have to give them a buzzer. And I, I was the responsible person, the, the person responsible for whether they were going to eat or not. So there was a lot of pressure on me and a lot of angry people. <laughs> you're, you're working in Covent Garden, wasting. Yeah, yeah. Could you ever think that you would end up a stone's throw? Yeah. In Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Never. N I never thought that... I've. It's always been something to work in the West End. When I was younger, that was always like a, you know, like a pipe dream. They'd be like, oh, that'd be amazing. And then you realise, I think when you get into this industry, you realise jobs, you know, are few and far between. And there's so many incredibly talented people that you're kind of like, no, it's probably not going to happen. So it's fine. <laughs> I'll just clean this table. <laughs> no, but you, yeah, that was a really amazing thing to have happened for me to go, do you know what? This is kind of one of the reasons why I came into this. And for that to have happened was, um, was really special. And actually that theatre was the fir first theatre that I went to to watch, ever watch anything in the West End. I know. Oh, come on. It's, I know, but I, I remember it was because it was on my 19th birthday. And when I was there, I turned... 30. But I can remember being on that stage and just kind of, you know, looking into the audience and remembering, not the exact seat, but the area where I was sitting when I was 19 and just thinking, oh, that's, that's really lovely. And yeah, kind of a nice full circle to kind of, yeah, I don't know. And to be in a show of the magnitude. It's so massive. Of that. It's so massive. Because you were in the original cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you must, you knew it was going to be a big deal. Yeah. But did it still, could you still quite process the scale of it? I, no, I, and I don't think, I don't think anyone working on that can or could, and it felt, I think it still blows my mind actually that I was a part of that. Um, and I just feel like it's going to run forever. So to say that you were at the start of that and helped make it is really, um, yeah, it's really, it's really something.